this. This appears to be a large rectangular planter. It's tilted on its side. It has sloping sides to it, so it's not just like a square box. It actually is slightly artistically designed. And uh, apparently this was part of the garden, but over, the, over time it's kind of tilted over. And then you see all other pieces here of the curbing for the trails, because this site, after Mrs. Palmer uh, put in the start of the garden, other things happened here as well that disturbed part of the original garden trail. Over the years, some of the long-term visitors to Webb's Winter Resort would actually buy pieces of property from John Webb. And one of those people was a man named Joseph Conrad. And we believe this is the cistern to Mr. Conrad's home that he actually built after Mrs. Palmer had passed away and after the garden had been started. This is a brick cistern. You can see it's lined on the inside with concrete and it has a separate section over here that appears to be filled with charcoal. So this would have been a very sophisticated cistern for say 1918 era that it had a charcoal filter. So the rainwater would have come off the roof of the Conrad house that's no longer here and it would have entered through the charcoal or it would have gone into the pool and then maybe reversed out of the charcoal. On the other side is an area that appears to be a cold storage area uh, because that would be a place where you could keep some of your food cool. And this is, appears to not have been a part of the cistern, but a cold storage area uh, for keeping some of your vegetables and other things uh, good. A little further out the path from the cistern is Joseph Conrad's swimming pool. This was built in 1918 and this could very well be the first swimming pool ever built in the whole Sarasota County area. Now we are way out on the point and the bay is just beyond these mangroves on both sides. And so you could imagine that back at that era, before a lot of the vegetation had grown up so much, Conrad and his friends would be bobbing in the pool, looking out at Little Sarasota Bay on three sides. There's a set of steps that take you down into the pool and you can see that the pool has been invaded by uh, Sansevieria and other plants, but it's basically intact and it's 102 years old.